Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here, uh, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with the second video in our Platinum Trophy Guide for the Bioshock 2 Remastered. When we last left off, we had just made it to Ryan Amusements, as you can see right here, and we had just finished up the Atlantic Express and all of that good jazz. So, while we're thinking about it, we're like always going to check and explore around make sure we grab whatever is necessary bandages whatnot things and we're just gonna progress through the level like in the last video we're basically just gonna be trying to go through search everything and just do what all we can there is going to be a couple specific related things um, to uh, certain trophies. There is one trophy we will specifically get while we are here. So, like always, we're also going to grab as many of the audio logs that we can. Oh. You brought this on yourself. Okay. Anyways. Let's see if we can buy a couple of remote hack, hack darts. That way we can work on that trophy. Um, another trophy as well regarding to hacking things is actually going to be for, um, if I can remember, uh, defeating enemies with hacked turrets. So that will be a thing. Insert your ticket now. Have rice for children under three. Alright, just gonna, like always, search everything, double check, make sure we have everything we need. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find okay. Eleanor, the sky's the limit. So, as you'll see here following the main path... Uh, you will have your first weapon upgrade and that'll be the power to the people I believe that there are at least um, 14 of these in the game so now we're going to select whatever um, we choose I go for rivet gun damage increase or clip size as those are always pretty nice and upon doing so you will get the trophy for upgrading a weapon it's always so much fun right said just just checking and making sure that we grab everything that's possible along the way here we'll find the next audio log We've got another remote hack dart which is nice there we go can now be on our merry way there is we will actually finally achieve our first little sister adoption while we're here but we're gonna grab this ticket and now we can backtrack all the way that'll get you in the park but buying incinerates gonna cost Adam it's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you the little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Alright, and just across from where we upgraded the rivet gun, you will find your next weapon, the machine gun. This one is actually pretty nice, as it's, well, a machine gun that can do a bunch of low damage, but rapidly. No fuck up this time! And just like that, we will be on our way to the... Okay, he's the old. So now we can move on and be on our way to the next area. So if we come over here, we can finally activate the ticket. 
booth and actually head into Ryan Amusements. I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan. And here we'll get our first gene tonic. Amusements. Basically letting us move Please a little bit faster. Always nice. You can always swap out the um, gene tonics to fit your play style. Which is always fun, right? So now if we come over here to the left. And we're just going to explore the upper area real quick. Fuck the pile of junk! You broke it! Didn't you, Edna? Everything you've done! You hack this turret here, makes your life a little bit easier. It was probably clumsy, fat hands that loused it up. You heartless brute! How dare you! I have wits on my side. That'll be at least two kills toward the. Seems like everybody's on the go towards the. You um, still getting kills with turrets, which is always nice. Isn't it about time you got caught up? Evolve today. Good little turret. Okay, so here's one of the areas we have to come to. Might as well use a first aid kit. I know, super low HP. But here we're going to find our next audio diary. But this is the area you're eventually going to have to come to anyways, so it's best to clear it out. As you'll see, here's where we find the incinerate. So now that we've cleared it out, we can make our way back around. Here they show icons of many of the different plasmids and things that gene tonics you can buy. Alright, but now we're going to head across, and right here you can find the next audio diary. Try to grab as much money as we can. You're kind and welcome here! <laughs> You also can, I forget to mention, uh, switch into a more first person aim instead of this. Just to give your um, rivet gun a little bit more of a better accuracy than normal. Always check behind counters, you never know if they hide anything. Alright, over here, nothing, nothing. Alright. Okay, we're going to check the upstairs first, as there is a downstairs. So if you come back here, we'll find the next audio diary and some food and drink. Hack this safe. Ooh, that's nice. Got some um, anti-personal rounds, which actually will probably be coming in handy. And if you've been hacking everything like I have, you will have achieved the prolific hacker trophy just now. Not too hard. If not, there's always uh, multiple chances of getting it. As you can see right here, we have another... Um, I'll wait to hack something from afar. We'll get some antipersonal rounds from that safe, which uh, basically um, can deal a bit more damage than normal. We'll shock this. There we go. Shock this area and come check it out. Get some more um, turret ammo. Find some cigarettes. Things. Um, another first aid, which I'll just pick up. Um, we actually get some heavy rivets, which will deal a little bit more damage now. Always swap between those, which is cool. But we'll also grab that diary. 
Now we'll come over here to the other side. And... I guess we are completely out of trap rivets. Um, another trophy I should mention is getting at least 30 kills with traps. Now, I'm not sure if that means the trap rivets specifically, but if that is the case, then... Awesome. Uh, fairly standard and easy to do. Um, just as long as you're keeping track of it, of course. Last thing we'll do is we'll come over here. Hello? Is someone in the hall? Come on. Drop that at once. It's priceless. <sighs> Best thing that you could probably do is um, to have it where you damage them once with a regular um, rivet bullet. Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. And then uh, switch to uh, <clears throat> feel. Excuse me. Uh, you, so you'll just do the normal standard rivet, and then switch to the trap rivet, and that should do a decent amount of damage, if not kill whatever uh, splicer that you are facing. So we're going to hack this turret here. As uh, we're about to fight a big daddy. Now, I recommend um, switching to heavy rivets if possible. Or at least trying to set up some kind of now that big daddy won't uh, bite until you do but to get to little uh, scenario you here put the old boy down for good as you can see though he's not that bad Take a breath, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own Now, daddy. 600 is the max amount um, that you can hold cash-wise, so if you need to, go ahead and spend some of that. You can always come back and search the um, in enemy, uh, Big Daddy. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. Now, just over here to the side, you will find um, the first, uh, uh, not the first, another audio log. Um, while we're here, we're also going to try and see if we can spend any money, like so. That's nice. Might as well buy whatever money we can, or spend whatever money we can. Because as you'll see, um, money is not going to be that hard. Uh, you should also get a trophy for collecting and adopting your first little sister. Which will always be nice. Now probably the next trophy that um, will be a bit of a bother to some is actually going to be related to getting through a gather without the little sister getting interrupted or you taking any damage. You can hold square and that'll lead the little sister to um you know you don't have a it's dancing, Daddy, dancing. There you go, as you can see. Um that'll lead to that, like I said. But holding square will lead you to a body for the little sister to interact with. Now you're probably not going to get this your first try. Uh, it is quite, quite complicated to do. But this is the area. This is the corpse She's right got here. A juicy one. But when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come we'll running. hack the Be ammo ready machine. Before you set her down on that body. There we go. This will get us some more ammo.
We'll go for some anti-personal rounds and some heavy rivets. And then we will hack the Circus of Value. That'll get us some e Pipo. And will allow us to buy another um, <clears throat> hack tool. So I'm going to make a manual save right here. And this is something I recommend you do as well. Um, that way in case you mess up, you can always reset to try and get the trophy. Just put her right down on that corpse. Alright, so this is going to be your first gather, and from what I know, it is almost impossible to get through it without taking some kind of bullet damage because um, splicers with guns do spawn, and they like to be up top and will hit you. So just for now, just use this as a way of learning um, how to do gathers. <clears throat> so... I will show in detail in the second mission that we will do um, the perfect spot for doing the master uh, protector. That is a so once you're ready, sit down, little sister, Not a toy and she will start gathering Adam. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio. And as you'll see up in the top left, the there'll be a bar that'll slowly here fill up. Come. Keep the splices off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt. Alright, and as you can see, we're almost done now. Once you're done, you can pick the little sister back up. And that'll get you some Adam. But a plasmid costs a bit more Adam yet. Keep it up. So you will have to do two whole searches or two gathers. So do keep that in mind as you'll have one more attempt that you can try and do on this level. Um, I recommend just waiting. So once you're done you can now also go and pick up all of the trap rivets that didn't get used. Because that just is, uh, you know, that's nice. and make sure that you go through and collect every single thing that you can. All right, we can now switch back to our regular rounds. Make sure we have everything we need. And we're going to head in here into this little area. Now, I recommend switching to telekinesis and if I can find it it is somewhere ah there it is so if you take telekinesis and grab this golf club and then send it at the head of the Andrew Ryan you will get the nine irony trophy which is a reference to Bioshock 1 so there's always that. <laughs> so we're gonna actually gonna switch and use the uh, machine gun for a bit. Do remember to switch back to uh, Electrobolt whenever you have the opportunity. Okay. Let's 
so now if before heading up if we swing around to the left here we have this little side area that we can uh, go into and here you will find a audio log and some heavy rivets boy help me find this All right, now we're going to make our way. Do believe it is, yes. Yep, up this way. They almost thought they had me. They didn't. Come over here. You can also turn around back here. Hack this healing station. Grab some ammo for our machine gun. Nothing over there. And just slowly make our way through. On the surface, the farmer tills the soil, trading the strength of his I don't know what that was about. All right, and if you want to, I believe you can come check out this little side area over here. I'm gonna hack this turret. Like I said, if you can try and hack things from a distance, and having turrets is really good because you need those kills with turrets. All right, we're gonna just work our way. Uh, Clockwise. As you'll see right here, this is the second um, corpse that we will gather Adam from. So, like always, we're going to grab more um, ammo and things of that nature and then we're gonna make another save right here just just to be safe all right so basically what you're gonna be doing is setting up like so and then you're basically gonna be doing the same thing over here and then one last little area right here just because it never hurts to be sorry and then before now once you're fully ready again you can place the little sister down to gather the atom I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, and you basically I just want to make sure that you keep an eye out for but I anything that you might need and if you need to switch ammo types along the way by all means If you have time to reload, it's always nice. Ah, I got hit, but as you see it this one is probably a lot easier to do But there is a third location that is a whole lot easier as it is mainly just melee splicers so yeah Chief, we've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the elves okay. they favor like always, in the workshop. Um, just go through there. and search all of the loot boxes. 
that are dropped from all of these splicers. As you can see back here, quite a lot. And then like always, if there are any um, trap rivets that don't get used, then you can just pick those back up. So before heading um, down, we're going to come back this way and actually grab another audio diary and another Eve hypo and some ammo. Now we can make our way down, find some bandages, and be on our merry way. Oh, do you believe, yeah. Drill fuel. Drill is probably the least used weapon, at least by me, in regards to this game. I believe there's this little side area here. That gives us some trap rivets, heavy rivets. Um, gives us some Eve and another audio diary, which is nice. And a toolbox to search. And I believe that is it. Oops, some anti-personal rounds. So from here, you can actually just jump down over here onto a secret little balcony. And then we can now finally be on our way. Definitely a long, windy path. don't remember if there is anything. Got some money. Alright, we can now continue. Over here, get some ammo. Another container to search. Okay. Hmm? What? Who said that? Where are you at? How you run, Cretan? Stop running like a fool. Oh, is she down below? Nope, she's right here. All right, all right. Almost out of here. Might as well spend some money. And like always, if you can, just hack from a distance. And then just buy another... <laughs> um, a, a remote hack turret ammo. Now we can almost be done with this whole level. Another remote hack dart. It's always nice. Some money. Alright. Almost there. Almost there. Don't remember. I'm trying to see if there's any more audio logs or not. Alright, yeah, there's nothing else, I think, back here. Come up here for a secret little audio diary. Find another container to search. Alright, yeah, I believe that is it. Um, okay, that was definitely weird. Okay. Alright. So now we will finally come now, Turnbull over would this have way. You turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. 
But so, Rapture's a high stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more atom than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. So now you so now you'll be presented with a choice of saving or harvesting the little sister. And um, I recommend just saving all of them your first playthrough as it's going to be um, just related to a trophy for dealing with all the little sisters and it's just it pays off in the end to save them. At least your first playthrough because then you kind of have an idea of how things are. And then your second playthrough, you can choose to do this however you feel. So, you now have the option, and like I said, I always choose rescue. Well, Alright, so from along. here... Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough atom now. You basically just Barely. make your way back Head to the hall of the future and splice up with incinerate. Trying to get some trap kills. Always my house. And as of now, if you've been doing what I've been doing, then you will get the Trap Master Trophy for getting kills with traps, which is nice. If not, don't worry, you will eventually get it, because there will be plenty more um, defenses that you will have to do and little sisters to protect. So from here, we're now just finally going to exit the area. Here you will find your second power to the people upgrade. And that I will leave up to you. And off here to the right, you'll find another um, audio diary right next to this vending machine. Which, like always, if you can, hack from a distance. And then buy a remote hack dart back. So from here, your options are really whatever you want. Um, I always try and just go for more damage early on. As it helps with defending little sisters and whatnot. We have one last little safe to hack here. Always nice to getting money back and all that. So from here we've basically made it back to the end of the ride. And we're almost done. So, like always, if you can, hack. This will summon some turrets that will come to our aid. Not entirely sure what's going on here. But just let the turrets deal with him. If they can. Grab some ammo over here. Just being thorough, you know. There you go. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Finally. Okay. Hmm. Alright, and just here off to the left, we have another audio diary. And as you'll see, this area actually leads 
right back to the start. And we can now finally go to the first area that we went to. Jeez. They're beating my butt. Now then we can finally head up. And head over here to that area I was talking about. The Hall of the Future. So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. So here, you're basically going to want to buy Incinerate, and then equip that. Now, I also recommend buying a health upgrade and Eve Link, just because they are quite handy. When Rapture speaks handy. of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. So from here you can actually open up this little side area. Don't know what he was expecting. There's another little gatherer's garden. But this is for gene upgrades. Um, don't worry about if you spent all... Um, you can easily get more and find more later on, so don't worry about that. But this is just a little side area that has some more ammo and stuff to pick up. But now we can finally be on our way back to the start. And we're almost about to have our first fight with the big sister and actually win and take her on. This is a tough fight. As you can see, she can also use plasmids and stuff like that. There we go. Now upon beating your first oh, big sister awesome, without dying, Not you will uh, have the unbreakable trophy. Well, come on Give back yourself and some Adam. We can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. And now we can be on our way out of the amusement park. Every little, uh, every big sister will always have, I believe, 40 Adam. So it's always guaranteed every single time. But from here, we can just leave. Um, like I said, if there's any um, audio diaries you want to make sure that you've gotten and collected, you can use the um, link that I'll leave in the description. Um, just to double check yourself as you're going through. Can we check this? No, we can't check this back door. Outstanding sport. But we'll Your come over here to check this windfall. one last now little just open the train area. Tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. And from here, we will finally get to see Sinclair. Hop on aboard. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I like Sinclair. He's a good guy. If you played Bioshock 1, you'll think that he'll eventually betray you. But as of right now, you will also gain another trophy um, called Sinclair Solutions. And we're almost done with... The amusement park, and we'll be heading to the third area. 
Lem was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. All right, I'm gonna take care of all these enemies and search them before we move on because like always it is best to have as much money and things as you possibly can. You'll get a warning to make sure that you're done before you leave the area and like always you just want to make sure that you've done that and I will see you in the next area which will be Popper's Drop.